Don't forget to participate in the hashtag love for love hashtag new gardener challenge. Your participation is truly appreciated. Hello, this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. Today is June 19, 2017. And today we are going to start a pineapple plant from a pineapple top. Now the top, I did acquire it by going to the store, buying this delicious uh, pineapple. I took off the top. When I took off the top, I peeled back the bottom leaves uh, of the top, put it in water, and two weeks later, here we are. So I wanted to bring you guys along in the journey. It's going to be a very long journey, but I heard that after two years, the plant will produce uh, fruit for me. So we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get started. And the pineapple top looks a little bit raggedy. It's been in the water for two weeks, but look at these roots. They're absolutely beautiful. It's not a lot of roots, but I'm hoping they will do great in this um, pot that I'm going to be putting it in. And as you can see, uh, I did take off the bottom leaves of that top, and that is so that that part is at the water level. So that, don't put your whole top in the water you just want the bottom part of the pineapple top in water and i am so sorry i'm doing this one-handed so just bear with me while i try to put it in this pot and i'm using regular store-bought potting soil i'm not going to be adding any type of fertilizer at this time as i want to see if it's strong enough to start its own roots Hello guys, today is July 21st, 2017 and I'm happy to report that our pineapple uh, top that we planted was a success. This one is one I started the year before. This is the one that we potted up together. That one looks a little bit uh, under the weather, but the one that we planted together looks absolutely beautiful. It likes where I planted it, and it seems to be doing really good in its little pot. Hello guys, I know it's been a while, but I wanted to give you an update. Today is August 1st, 2018, and the pineapple plant is looking fabulous. Today is July 22nd, 2019 and the flower keeps growing and looking absolutely fabulous. Today is August 2nd, 2019, and the little pineapple is growing. Hope you can see that really good. It is looking fabulous. Today is September 7th, 2019 and the pineapple is looking so pretty. It's tiny and most of the flowers already bloomed. It's tiny but I can't wait to taste it. Looking good. Oh. Today is September 20th, 2019, and I wanted to give you a look at the pineapple and how it's doing so far. So far, 
are so good. I think the flowers have finished blooming. Let's see. I think so. It's super tiny, but honestly, I can't wait to dig into it. <laughs> and then, I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a lot of shoots. One, two, three, four, five, five, and yeah, I think five shoots. So that's how she's looking. I'll keep you posted. Today is October 13, 2019, and the pineapple is still looking really, really good, but it's still pretty, pretty green. Yep, still pretty green. But still looking cute. Today is November 17, 2019, and as you can see, the pineapple is still pretty green, but now it's getting little spots of yellow. And I'm loving the shoots it has. It has humongous little shoots here that I'll be able to plant. And according to what I have read, these shoots provide a pineapple sooner than if you would have cut it from the store-bought top and planted it. So hopefully these will give me pineapple sooner as well. Looking beautiful. Today is December 22nd, 2019. And this little pineapple, still green, some yellow, but mostly green. It seems like it's taking a long time for it to mature. Hmm. Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully it's still maturing and growing. Can't wait to taste it. Even if it's a tiny little bite. I'll keep you guys posted. Today is February 15, 2020, and I wanted to give you an update on this pineapple, and I'm a little out of breath because I had to move the pineapple bucket um, into the sun. I think this pineapple is taking a bit to ripen because it's um, in a more shaded part of my garden, but I also wanted to show you how humongous it is it is absolutely humongous and for comparison that is a 32 gallon uh, tub and it passes that 32 gallon tub it's just humongous now I'm gonna be pruning it because it does have a lot of winter damage um, I know that you guys know that my garden is very warm it gets super boiling hot here in the summer but in the winter, oh, I need to sharpen these. In the winter, it gets super duper cold. I mean, we could be in the middle 30s, um, maybe high 30s, but it just gets really cold. And the pineapple obviously does not like it, but not to worry, it's not dead. It's still alive, it's still beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait for it to turn a little yellow, a little more yellow so I can eat it. And also probably next month or April, I'm going to try to take off these pups. Ouch. Oh, yeah. If you grow pineapples, they're very, very, very dangerous. Um, so just be careful. They have like tiny little spikes. I don't know. They're, they're very, their leaves like cut you. It's crazy. Anyways. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to take off these pups and because it's growing a lot of them. It's growing a lot of them all around. So there I showed you two. Here it has two more right here. 
And then here it has two more. You can't see it, but there's one and then there's one behind it. And then right now when I moved it, guess what I saw? I thought it, they only grew on top, like on top, the little pups of pineapple. But when I was moving it, look at what I found. Well, hopefully you can see that. So these are, ah, there we go. These are two more. Here's one and here's the second one. These are two more of the pineapple little pups. So I'm going to be transplanting those as well when they get a little bit bigger. So yeah, I wanted to give you an update and I wanted to let you know that the pineapple is doing good. It's still in good health. Just taking a bit to ripen. And I'm kind of liking that because you know what? I'm waiting for it with so much uh, anticipation and I'm eager that when I bite into it, it's going to be like heaven. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, today is February 29 and I am so, so, so excited. Today we get to cut our beautiful, beautiful pineapple. All right, guys, so I had to recruit my handy dandy camera person <laughs> because my tripod fell. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and cut this open. All right, so we're going to take this serrated knife and we're going to cut it and see now these are very very sharp so we got to be careful when i'm um, handling the pineapple all right ah! okay how do i get it ah! all right guys it's kind of tricky because like i said the leaves are sharp and i should have worn some gloves but Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, my God, how oh, pretty. All right, guys, so this one we were able, I had to recruit my husband because it was just plain too hard to cut. So here it is. Here is the, here is the um, plant with the pineapple removed. And it was removed with, the pineapple was removed with two suckers and it has a lot of suckers. So I'm gonna be planting these as well. They are looking, this pineapple looks absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to see what it looks like inside. It does look tiny, but it's bigger than my hand and it feels like it's ready to eat. So we'll take it inside and I'll remove the suckers. We'll take it inside and we'll take a look and see what it looks like inside the pineapple. So excited. All right, the little pups that we took off the plant have been planted here in one of my raised beds i have another one that i planted last year that one right there and it's looking beautiful so we'll hope that these other three will do the same and flourish here and i left enough space because they do get kind of big and I don't want it to be hard to harvest when these give me anything. So wish me luck with the little pups as well. All right, guys. So here is the pineapple without the suckers. And let's get ready to cut this baby up. So first, I'm going to be removing the top. And you probably guessed it. I will be peeling off the bottom part of the top and then I will be putting it in water 
once I have some roots planting it in the ground. Such a pretty, pretty little top. It looks absolutely healthy and beautiful, so I'm sure it will do great in my garden. I'm also going to be removing the bottom part and hoping that the bottom part is looking as great as the top part. And it does feel very soft, um, although the plant itself uh, felt hard and and uh, just very, very hard to touch. The pineapple itself is very, very soft, like cutting into butter. Maybe I should, I think I'm just going to do a slice. So let's cut a slice and see how it looks inside. And whoa, look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful, just like I imagined it. And I'm going to cut me a slice so that we can give it the good old taste test. Uh, so soft, just like butter. And the aroma is absolutely incredible. Man, this smells so good. Wow, that pineapple, <laughs> that pineapple bite, that first bite is absolutely divine. It's probably one of the best tasting fruits I have ever had in my life. I'm not joking. It is just absolutely wonderful. Well, guys, that's it from Little Beans Garden. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And as always, take care.